Hi everyone, my name is ENTJ John McKenzie, and today I'm going to make the most awesome project. Okay everyone, my name is Josh, and today we're gonna do a project. Today I'm gonna build a floating castle, but the question is how could I possibly make that happen? I have a million pieces laying around here. Now, the question is how could I best arrange them? Maybe I could use this kind of a piece, or maybe I should use this kind of a piece. I should first organize the pieces into things I think can be useful and then things I think are worthless. Could this piece be useful for what I am making? I now have a thousand useful pieces and I can see before me how these pieces best should combine into something awesome. And what if I combine this piece with that piece? Or perhaps that piece with that piece? Now I've come up with a perfect way to arrange all the best pieces and now I want you to challenge me on a better way to do it. Okay, I've come up with 15 ways to build a floating castle and now I'm gonna run through the pros and cons of every option so we know the best course of action. I'm gonna use any resources available to me to reach my completely unrealistic goal within a completely unrealistic time frame. I'm gonna think really creatively about what new resources I could enlist to make it happen. I can see many pros of this method, but this method also has a lot of benefits. There are some potential flaws with method A, so I think we need to choose method B. I'm so annoyed and so frustrated that it's taking so long to reach my completely unrealistic goal and that my progress is so weak and still I'm only 5 minutes into the project. Okay, now I've perfected the idea and now I think it's time to take a break before I put it all together. I have not slept for 2 days because I want to finish this as soon as possible but all the losers around me keep telling me that my strategy is impossible and my expectations are unrealistic. Maybe I should play some video games. I could always start on this another day. I've come up with a shortcut that will make it look like my goal is finished even though I cut at least 15 corners with the design. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if today is today. Nah, don't feel like it. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, great. With all those hacks, I managed to finish the project. Now I hope I can fool some investors into backing this shit financially, even though it's total crap. Oh crap, the deadline is tomorrow. How am I ever gonna finish this on time? So, this is my amazing invention. A floating castle. Uh, maybe I could convince them to extend the project by a year so I have more time to do it. No, that's never gonna work. They're never gonna approve it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to lower my expectations and change the project to my smallest, efficient, easiest idea. Method D was the fastest and the most simple to use. And if I just do 10% of that and change my project around, everyone is gonna think it's a total success. Oh no, uh, the floating castle crashed. Uh, guys, this was intended. This was an intended consequence. Now, if you can support me financially, I can make this one even bigger and we can use this one even better for the future. Okay, this is my really flawed and actually kind of problematic invention. It's kind of a small engine that you could potentially use to maybe make something like a floating castle. But that's just a theory and I have not really tested it yet. So I'm going to have to think about it a bit more. Oh my god, they all bought it and they still went with my Losey idea. I can't believe those suckers. So I think I'm just going to tell you guys all the reasons why this engine sucks, why this project failed and why you should never take this into use. My god, I had such a great idea. And I was so smart and I was so creative and still they decided not to back me. Why is everyone always against me? Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and this was my video on ENTJ versus INTP project management. So which of these two types did you relate to the most and what is your personality type? Feel free to click the button to become a member and to vote on future videos. 
or become a Patreon to get coaching and advice on your personality type. Leave a like, share and subscribe so that other people can enjoy this video too. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.